This is the Rover uh, ERP system. Um, basically, this is the main login screen you see when you come in. Uh, we, we have kind of a traditional main menu look and feel here uh, with all the different modules available to us. Um, just going down the list, APAR, a document control module, engineering for parts, bombs, and uh, a uh, product configurator, uh, an options-based product configurator is built in, uh, executive business inquiry and, and reports. Uh, there is a field service module, um, inventory for perpetual inventory, physical inventory cycle counts, etc. General Ledger, kind of the dollar repository for everything. You, uh, we, we provide a bunch of reports, and then we provide a report writer for building your own um, income statements and balance sheets based on the customer's account numbers. <clears throat> Manufacturing planning is, there are three main components to that. It's uh, uh, MRP, MPS, and capacity planning are all part of the manufacturing planning module. Um, marketing and sales is everything from prospecting and quoting through order entry and customers, to shipping, um, to invoicing, sales analysis, and returns. RMAs are all part of the uh, sales and marketing module, and most of what people would consider CRM is woven into the, uh, the sales and marketing uh, module. Uh, production is shop floor control, work orders, um, routings, work centers, completions, time and attendance. Um, that's all part of the production. Um, project management. Um, it's not so much of a time keeping project management so much as a cost gathering mechanism. So you can set up projects and you can charge POs and AP records to it and, and it, uh, inventory issues, and labor. Uh, directly to a project to see what a project basically costs you over time. Um, purchasing and receiving, pretty simple. You purchase orders and purchase order requisitions along with receiving and, and container tracking as well if you're keeping stuff on the water. Uh, workflow management is our alert system. The workflow management allows you to set triggers and alerts on any action in the system. So a new order goes in, uh, a new part gets created, uh, an order goes on hold. Anything that happens in the system can be turned into an alert, and it will show you that alert in this inbox over here on the left, and or it will send you an email depending on how you set yourself up. So you can, you can provide an email address to send it to. Uh, ACE Utilities is our uh, development security and report writing tools. So everything we use to develop the system are, are part of ACE. Uh, report writers that can uh, allow you to write reports against any 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 data in the system. Obviously, everything here is security is the underpinning to everything here, so you can secure people in and out of things. Uh, we do have company code changes, so if people have multiple divisions in a single database, they can handle that. Uh, SQL, these are some tools we have down the bottom here. SQL utilities allow us to set up SQL export data on any files and, and uh, records in the system. Some people wanted to have the ability to export the SQL off to maybe a SQL database or maybe just a, uh, a, a repository out there and they wanna run their favorite report writer against it. And so they could do that offline without having to impact the, the, the live system. Uh, web services, everything we talk to, APIs and stuff go through web service calls, including interface to the Miva website process. And then we just, you can, this was just meant to be able to show that we can create our own menus too. I created a bunch of small demo menus for people want to see certain things, I can direct them straight to it. So m menus uh, can be created on the fly as well. Uh, and we give it to you in a main menu format or a folder format. Um, there's a data search option. If somebody wants to do pivot table lookups on any data in the system, they can do that. Uh, and again, obviously security is paramount here, so you can you can secure people out of things. Um, each user can set up a favorite section and take the procedures from the menus and drop them over here. And with a single click, go straight to those, irrespective of whatever menu is over here on the right. So just they can make a quick and dirty, you know, maybe five, 10, 20, 
favorite options over here that they use on a regular basis. And I mentioned the inbox for notifications and the tasks for assigning yourself reminders like I want to make sure I call this person back tomorrow and that'll show up in your task list and pop up on screen when the time and date comes that it is time to do that. So 